Hello and welcome to my presentation on inhalants. Let's first take a look at what they are. Inhalants are everyday objects that you can find at home or at the workplace such as spray paints, markers and glues, but they contain dangerous substances that have psychoactive mind-altering properties when inhaled. Here's a list of commonly abused inhalants and as you can see from the list these are everyday items that pretty much anyone can get their hands on, which is what makes this so dangerous. <coughs> So how exactly are inhalants abused? Well, they are abused in various different ways. Um, the methods include sniffing or snorting the fumes directly from the container or dispenser, spraying the aerosols directly into the nose or mouth, huffing, which we'll get into, bagging, which we'll also get into, or inhaling from balloons filled with nitrous oxide, otherwise known as laughing gas. So let's take a look at uh, huffing. Huffing is when chemicals are poured onto a rag and then that rag is held over the nose or mouth area or it's placed inside the mouth in order to be inhaled. This unfortunately is a very common and widespread technique. Bagging is a very common technique also which involves sniffing or inhaling the fumes from chemicals sprayed inside a plastic or paper bag. Sometimes these are placed directly in the bag and the bags are placed over the head. Placing bags over your head may cause death from suffocation. And also, an important note is that the high that inhalants produce usually only lasts a few minutes. So people often try to make it last by continuing to do this kind of act. So who abuses inhalants? Well, particularly a problem with young teens, um, but children even as young as five or six have tried inhalants. Almost 22 million Americans aged 12 or older have used inhalants at least once in their life. And according to the American Association of Pediatrics, nearly 20% of all 8th graders have tried inhalants. So let's have a look at the health effects. The health effects of inhalant abuse are typically short-term effects and long-term effects. The short-term effects on the brain are slurred or distorted speech, lack of coordination, control or body movement, euphoria, feeling high, dizziness, lightheadedness, hallucinations and headaches. Long-term effects include liver and kidney damage, hearing loss, bone marrow damage, loss of coordination and limb spasms from nerve damage, delayed behavioral development, brain damage, cardiac arrest, cancer because some of the toxins are carcinogenic, and sometimes it leads to other forms of drug abuse. Overdose um, from inhalants occurs when a person uses too much and has a toxic reaction that results in serious harmful symptoms such as seizures and coma or even death. Sniffing these products can cause the heart to stop within minutes and this condition is known as sudden sniffing death. And this can happen to very healthy young people, even if it's the first time that he or she has used an inhalant. So let's take a look at seeking treatment. How can people get treatment for addiction to inhalants? Although more research is needed to identify the most effective treatment options for addiction to inhalants, rehab and therapy are the most common. Rehab centers are centers with programs typically including a thorough detoxification, followed by counseling and life skills training. Therapy is common and usually common for young people involved in inhalant abuse. Types of therapy include relapse prevention instruction, 12-step education, individual, group or family therapy, or cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy helps patients recognize, avoid, and cope with the situations in, that lead them to taking the drugs. So to take away from this presentation, inhalants are various products that are easily bought and found at the home. Um, or workplace. They contain a dangerous substance that uh, leads to psychoactive properties when inhaled. Children and teens are most at risk. Uh, they're typically huffed, bagged, or sniffed. Short-term effects and long-term effects include liver, kidney, and brain damage. The use can be fatal, and common treatments include rehab and or therapy. This has been my presentation on inhalants. I hope you have found it informative. Thank you.